angles so they can give it very properly without any mistake without any uh, any piece of correction so they become habitual working under the darkness as compared to the light that is why they often end up losing their eyesight before they become adults so it that's the reason my dear students very important colored glass and these lights actually what happened uh, that's the reason they become eyesight uh, blind just because of they have to work under a very very low dim and doing because when they when they just uh, belting them you have seen in many many uh, shops especially those shops uh, in which there is a work of repairing going on uh, repairing of uh, some parts of uh, electronic gadgets especially uh, especially tvs vcr uh, etc these things uh, which is, there is a re like it suppose if we take a a remote of television you see when we open it there is a, a, a plate there is a plate of uh, what we could say a, a gold color in which you if you see that back side there are many many shouldering signs are there symbols are there point are there you know whenever the if a remote had got some damage so they just there there is a kind of a a, a burning a burning iron stick which they put uh, there according to their stuff so here or and in the shop of making iron when they built when they built two different piece of iron uh, then they there is a they need a something to fix it there is something a liquid as we if if we want to fix a torn pages then by the by the help of uh, glue we just fix it with each other but when it comes to fix the two iron piece two shorts uh, plates of iron it requires belting machine so belting machine you know then when it works when it just making these two different part with each other then it spark outside and sometimes you have seen that people got some injured while they are doing this practice uh, they it is it is very very harmful for their eyes uh, because it one side it a shower of sparks and as well as the smoke so the smoke it ruin the lungs as well as internal organs and the sparks always harm their eyes so the same thing here happening over there while brushing while polishing the uh, bangles even as well as the smoke it really really harm their eyes so that's the thing the writer wants to say that once they reach at the age of adult that's why this is the name of the chapter the lost spring spring means that spring comes at second place the first place always comes summer so summer is known as the a baby a form of baby like a baby uh, when a person gets its birth then it is a shape of baby but when uh, and the next step is adult so here the first step is summer and the next step is spring as we compare both human nature and the season nature uh, to each other so spring is known as adult in the in the form of human so my dear students you need to know you need to understand it this concept that the why this name is kept lost spring because the adult the loss of adult adult is the place adult is the time where a child see how wonderful this world is see the different variety of the world see the people the work experience uh his making colleagues playing with other type of games so this is a time to understand and after that understanding he just pursue his interesting field when he becomes mature so this is the main time where he look for his career where he establish his all um not only himself but also his family member he get married but in this period of time the people who are working in this place fiozabad they are deprived they become deprived from the eyesight just because of their hard duty their hard circumstances where they are enforced to work it so this is the condition of mukesh savita a young girl in the drab pink dress drab means pale color a very faded color of pink dress sits alongside an elderly woman she was sitting alongside an elderly woman shouldering pieces of glass also she was shouldering the pieces of glass with each other uh, to make a proper shape of bangles 
एज हर हैंड्स मूव मैकेनिकली लाइक द टंग्स ऑफ मशीन बट द गुड थिंग इज दैट हर हैंड्स वर वर्किंग सो रैपिडली इट वर्क वाइल सींग दिस स्टाइल ऑफ वर्किंग इट लुक्स लाइक दैट दिस इज नॉट ए ह्यूमन बींग इट लुक्स लाइक ए मशीन शी वॉज वर्किंग सो फास्ट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ ए हार्ड प्रैक्टिस एंड ए लॉन्ग एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल एज एंड नेक्स्ट I wonder if she knows the sanctity of the Bengals. It's not a sanctity; it's a sanctity of the Bengals. She helps make sanctity means what is the importance as sacred? What is the importance of holiness? How holiness this uh, field of Bengal? Uh, sorry, the field of Bengal, the piece of Bengal. How it is important in the custom of uh, Indians. all indian customs especially muslim and hindu and sikh as well as because in the in the different different ceremony different different parts of uh, their program they generally uh, women wear the bangles to show, to look so pretty and it is also it symbolize something else what it symbolize it symbolize an indian woman suha that bangles if it, as we know that the uh, amangal sutra Uh, that the mang that these are the symbols which shows that this woman is married so the suhag this is the um, uh, symbolize the suhag that this lady is uh, married auspiciousness in marriage very important auspiciousness means very very important it will dawn on her suddenly one day when her head is draped with a red veil well red veil is also again uh, mentioning here the gungat and one day she will be also uh, having the uh, bangles also her face was covered with the veil her hands dyed red with hina hina is means uh, mehndi the color which will be printing on her palms as well as feet and red bangles rolled on to her waist and there will be many bangles she was having in her wrist she will the become a bride and that day she will become a bride like the old woman beside her who became old who became one many years ago and now the lady who is sitting beside her like that she is sitting beside a old lady like her that she also this old lady got once married in a while uh, in her life many years ago she still has bangle on her wrist but no light in her eyes so ah uh, but no lights in her eyes ek waqt se bahar bhar ek waqt se bhar khana bhi nahi khaya he she says in a voice drained of joy complete Uh, a voice of complete joy she has not enjoyed even one full, full meal in her entire lifetime the meaning of that this lady who was sitting just beside this savita that she said that in her whole life she even eaten the full desirable food in her whole life that she was always remaining little bit empty uh, stomach which she never fulfilled due to the lack of resources lack of food as there was a less income source so they have to sustain many things even the parents the parents have to think many many uh, many concepts in their life that they they, they believe that their children should be uh, proper uh, nutritious and uh, they are well well take care it is because of their parents duty what that's what she has raped that she had felt or what she had spoken in her whole life her husband an old man with a following beard says i know nothing except bengals and all i have done is make a house for the family to live in so here uh, the husband of this old lady was also standing just near to her and who was having a bill a long beards and he said that i know only bangle making nothing i know anything and in my whole life i just able to build this house 
nothing i could make the extra money uh, for my work whatever the money which i made for my work that is that i spent to build this house nothing i can do uh, in my life hearing him hearing him one wonders if he has achieved what many have fallen feel in their lifetime he has a roof over his head so now uh, what actually the writer is saying hearing him he hearing everything about this old person and what she know that that yes this person is luckily uh, found or built his own house and he was very very successful in his in his life because she had seen many people who had come at very old age but they are so unfortunate that they couldn't make their house uh, which they can call that this is their house and they are compelled to live in a rented house rented slums and the whole life they spent in such type of uh, places they had to change uh, time to time their places the cry of not having money the cry of not having money to do anything except carry on the business of making bangles not e- even enough to eat rings in every homes so here the cry that cry means that they were everywhere their people are in shop people in desperate and not having money to do anything except carry on the business of making bangles they are compelled they don't have first of all the means of they can transfer themselves into a different business but going to different business it requires uh, capital it requires resources you have uh, studied in your uh, small classes uh, in 9th class 10th class that there is a capital uh, of physical uh, type of work which required the resources where the uh, money is required to go into different business but they don't have money so they can't carry into different business they have to go according to this bangle business and after being in this business they don't have enough to eat rings in every home rings means that emptiness is everywhere the young man echo the lament of their elders lament my dear students uh, here means that regret so every young man have a such type of feeling that they are regret that their elders couldn't do anything for them they they their elders couldn't save a small part of money so they can shift themselves into a different business because they are not educated so they have to do something uh, a hard work is something a work which they can feel a little bit comfortable but here in this field they are not comfortable they are just uh, regretted that why they are in the field of uh, bangle making little has moved with time it seems in fuzabad years of mind numbing toils have killed all initiative and the ability of dreams if they would have money they could fly away like who the young ones but there is a shortage of money so what happened years of mind numbing toil years of mind numbing toils means uh, that they have been working in this harsh conditions so their mind become dull they their power of thinking had been stopped had been disappeared so they are remain constant they are remain a kind of a statue without mind they are like like animals animals just follow their path uh, to find the food and the water nothing they look for uh, even they look for shelter but here in as we are a human we have to we it's our phenomena it it's our habit to think many things uh in the same time but their their capacity their ability of thinking a uh, different different objects about different different objects is stop mind numbing toil have killed all initiative and this dull mind has killed all the initiatives all the uh take a brisk or take a first steps towards the uh, the power the confidence to go into a different business this is a kind of initiative that initiative has been killed by this thought the ability to dream and also they stop dreaming about the uh, fruitful life about the uh, all the facilities they they are just 
given up in their life that now they have to uh, struggle with the same in uh, same atmosphere same environment in their whole life not only themselves but also their uh, generation which is going to be come later why not here in this paragraph this is also important paragraph why not organize yourselves into a cooperative so here the writer is asking to uh, people such like, such as Mukesh and Savita and the other people who, who are living uh, in this slums area in Fruzabad. She just asking to them why as in the cooperative business at the cooperative sectors in the labor, cooperative labor sectors, there is a kind of a leader among them who just uh, keeps the all the matters, all the complaints of his colleagues to the main authority. As you, why you not have such type of people in your life, in your groups? Ask a group of young men who have fallen into the vicious circle of middlemen who tapped their father and forefathers. Now here, now here, she asked a group of young men and who have fallen into this moral circle of middlemen that this is their duty to work in this field of making business uh, making of bangles and they are trapped actually a middleman middleman means broker the mediators uh, what they had done they they took their parents their their grandparents uh, into this business they just trap them uh, they just make them uh, get together and enforce them to do this thing and they cannot go away from this business so vicious circles of middlemen. Middlemen means here, dear students, the brokers, the uh, mediators who trap their fathers and forefathers. Even if we get organized, we are the ones who will be hauled up by the police, dragged. Now, if we become in an organization, if we become an unity, uh, unity is more powerful. If we try to build a unity among all the uh, among all our caste people, among all our business people, then what we will happen? We will be dragged, we will be beaten, we will be imprisoned by the police. Beaten and dragged to jail for doing something illegal. And what is making an organization, make, making an unit, making a, a team is considered illegal in our profession. Who consider it? The people who are uh, mediators, who are a uh, middleman. A uh, middleman means they say there is no leader among them. No one who could help them see things differently. No one who could help them see things differently. If if somebody is trying to help them, then a, a, a bad result would be he had to face or she had to face. Their father are as tired as they are. They talk endlessly in the spills that moves from poverty to apathy, to greed and to injustice. Here, apathy means indifference. So here, this is, now they have become so tired as their parents are so tired. And now these circles move in this way. What is the circle? The spills endlessly. They just talk endlessly in the spills that moves from the poverty to apathy. Now they are, they are remain. Uh, it one circle at one place where they are becoming more and more poor as well as there is so indifferences between them. Our indifferences means that we people and condition of these people, our conditions and these people conditions are having a big difference. So this is the meaning that the writer wants to convey through this chapter. Greed and to injustice. Indifferences to greed and injustice that they, in their life there is no justice no one is ready to fight uh, fight for them uh, legally everybody is trying to fear to whom they fear just in the next paragraph we would know listening to them i see two distinct worlds so listening to them i see two distinct world Two different different worlds one of the family caught in a web of poverty burdened by the stigma of caste in which they are born so here 
what uh, I have observed as as a as a person uh, that there is a kind of a stigma which they feel that they have a stigma on that that they have born in that place uh, a place where they are enforced where they are forcefully put in this work uh, to build uh, or to make the bangles uh, they are um, deprived they are uh, living a below poverty of life line because of the stigma stigma my dear students the they are depressed or distressed by their caste a, a kind of a, a a bad sign on their caste a kind of a clunk you can say uh, which they are born the other a vicious circle of the sahukars sahukars the keepers of luck uh, so sahukars means the middleman the policeman the keepers of law the bureaucrats and the politician so who are first world is that their world is divided into two parts first is that they feel that they are uh, they are so unfortunate that they are living in this harsh circumstances and second one is that uh, the second world is for them that the sahukars who are in a form of different different faces a uh, different different professions who are they they are known as middlemen like uh, brokers as well as policemen the keepers of law the bureaucrats bureaucrats means officials and the politicians all are considered as a a, a trapper a predators uh, and uh, they all they are just uh, living their rights just uh, uh, putting them making themselves making their level down so this is the work uh, of these peoples and together they have imposed the baggage on the child that can that he can put down and these people are putting this baggage this these load this pressure these heavy heavy baggage uh, on the back of these people these small children who cannot put down these loads because they have to run they have to walk along with this heavy pressure of the work before he is aware he accepts it as naturally as his father so before he become adult before he become mature so he has been diverted into uh, the acceptance that he has to follow the father business uh, in the future uh, because this is become a natural um, natural instinct uh, for their for themselves to do anything else would mean to dare so what is required if uh if you want to do something if you want to leave this field and want to go somewhere else so what is required the, what the only one thing is required that is dare and daring is not the part of his growing up when i sense a when i sense a flash of it in mukesh i am cheer so here uh, the daring is not a part of their profession because if they do dare then in earlier paragraph we have come across that the police will drag them out will beat them will will make them imprisoned and they have to uh, they have to got a very uh, hard challenges in in their life so they just uh, naturally um, melt uh, as the glass melt as uh, in the fire when they place uh, it near the fire as it melt and these children also get melt uh, due to this hard conditions of their surviving and so but as a writer as a person i was so cheered i was so happy to see a blink uh, something in the eyes of mukesh that he wants to do something i want to be a motor mechanic he repeats he will go to a garage and learn but the garage is long way from his home i'll walk he insists now here what he said he said that uh, actually uh, he i was so happy that he wants to be a uh, what a, a mechanical a mechanic of uh, motor motor bikes and car cars and but uh, actually the problem is that the garage is so far a long distance from his home place and uh, but he said that i'll go there by walk so he is 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 he insists do you also dream of flying a plane he is suddenly silent no he says staring at the ground so when i ask her ask him about that do you want to be a pilot or do do you want to uh, fly or ride a plane 
then he said no 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 and he was staring at the ground he was just looking at the ground in his small murmur murmur means small whispering small uh, speaking words silently he speak there is an embarrassment that has not yet turned into regret so there was little bit embarrassment that how how he could be uh, so knowledgeable because uh, while uh, while if a person needs to fly a plane then it requires an academic knowledge a proper guidance proper training so he was become so embarrassed uh, but he was not regret that how unfortunate he was that he took a birth in such type of conditions where he cannot get uh, a, a a basic education uh, to be get literate and as he is known as illiterate so he is content he is happy to dream of cars that he see hurtling down the streets of his town so my dear students hurtling down means a sound of uh caltrain a sound of a uh, sound of engines uh, which comes through the car uh, in each and every streets few airplanes fly over filozabad and few aeroplanes were also flying over the filozabad but he loves to uh, to work in a, in his own favorite field that is uh, the car he wants to be a mechanic he wants to be a repair of uh, and to repair the car if uh, some something is wrong so this is the all about the chapter my dear students now uh, the question answers we have but we have little questions here in this part what makes the city of firozabad famous the uh, bengals make this city uh, so famous because it is the hub in all it is the main center or the main hub in india uh, that number of bengals are being uh, made and also uh, distributed in different part of the world mention the hazards of working in the glass bengal industry there are so so hazards hazards with problems what are the problems a person has to face if he is in the field of uh, bengal industries first of all a person has to sustain near the fireplace and uh, and it requires uh, a high temperature and the room is covered totally closed by the by everywhere not a single hole is there to pass the air and get the air in it and also uh, those pe these people are so unfortunate that there is, there is no any basic facility to them not electricity uh, such type of things are not for them so they have to work in hot temperature even the smoke of fireplace as well as when they polish when they weld when they welding the uh, pieces of glass then the smoke spread everywhere and this smoke is so harmful so uh, bad for their eyesight that in this area in this city many people got blind uh, who are in the field of bengal industries especially adults so adults has to be uh, fixed with the fire fireplace and this is because their eyes are so soft their organs are so soft so they suffer from different different diseases not only by the eyesight but also from the uh, body as well as how is mukesh attitude to his situation different from that of his family his attitude his uh, actually his family is considering that they have to live in this bog uh, this is their world where they have sustained their limitations their confinements uh, they cannot cross this bog bog means my dear daldal they have to live by hook and crook because there is no any source of income so they can shift from different part of business but here there is a sparkle there is a light of doing something extraordinary doing something uh, different from as his parents as the as the families of all these filozabad people who are living there he wants to go in a different field he wants to work as a mechanic a, a motor mechanic he wants to do uh, something in the field of car uh, car so he this is his uh that's why he is different from his whole family now here these are the questions by your own base what could be some of the reasons for the migration of people from village to cities yes there are many reasons uh village life is so beautiful so healthier as compared to 
city life but there are many many compulsion which make people which drag people from their native place to the city which is high crowded uh, why because of the lack of sources as in village they have a limited land a limited plot of land where they harvest their crops but as their generation growth as their uh, family growth so people becomes uh, unemployed people have no work so they just for the work for the better facilities so, so they can give a uh, good education to their children so they just transfer from one place to city and even the health facilities are good even the uh, social uh, socialism is good even some basic facilities are far better than the village life so this is the reason that people of village move to cities would you agree that promises made to poor children are rarely kept why do you think this happen in the incidents narrated in the text so here uh, actually whenever we made a promise to someone else which is very important for him that promise which we made for the other person uh, that other person take it very seriously and started dreaming about it but if we made it so we have to constant on that promise that we have to fulfill it but unfortunately the writer who just uh, in a way of joke in a way of uh, sarcasm she spoke that if she want to build a school if she would build a school would you come to uh, to study then the sahib alam replied that yes uh if if i would go if you will build a school definitely i'll go as there is no uh no school in his area and you we can also take an example that the politician when before uh, the election they made a different different promises that they will bring the prosperous a uh, good resources of income everything the joy will be there but at the end when they comes in the power nothing remain they never show their face uh in in a period of 5 years and after that they come again while while attaching their hands for asking for for begging the vote so there are the promises which have we have to if we made then we have to sustain on it what forces conspire to keep the workers in the bengal industries of firozabad in poverty conspire means uh consequency this word comes from consequency consequency means a kind of a shadiant what type of forces or kind of conspires to keep the workers in the bengal industries the fear the fear uh fear which is made by the middlemen police bureaucrats politicians uh which make them compelled to stay at that place and just give them business for they can live a very happily life but these people who are in the field of bengal they live they live apart from all the basic needs all the basic facilities even they do not have a uh, good electricity they do not have drainage system they do not have a cv system there are their streets are chocked they don't have a proper house but the these people are living so high level uh, in good standards so these are the forces which conspire which uh, put them into this field so this is the all about the chapter and i'll bring some few uh, questions uh, in a pdf and then we will discuss some important questions in the next video and this video will so important for you as per uh, to see the perspective of examinations many questions are being taken from that pdf and i'll bring with this pdf i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, thank you to be with me